What do you do if you are out of bonus games and you are trying to reach the next tier in Tap Baseball 22? Well, I am here to tell you. What's up, ladies and germs? We're back playing some Tap Sports Baseball 22. Today, I am going to do a little more of an informational video. This isn't going to be so much about my team or the players or anything like that. This is more of a uh, logistical workaround um, as you're trying to play through the game and level up and get more experience. Uh, I'm hoping to give you some advice and some tips that might help you do that a little bit easier. So I'm in silver tier right now. You go bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond. There's actually a new tier this year called the champion tier, um, which is different than in years past. To even get to that point though, uh, I need to be able to play enough games. And one of the easiest ways to do that is by playing bonus games. Bonus games, as you can see, if you come to the compete tab or like right on the, on the front. Bonus games are right here. They're really simple. It's basically just like the most basic way to play a game you don't have to play them you can auto play them if your team is a reasonable level you're probably going to win without even touching anything without even playing a little bit of the game that's the easiest way to play through games to level up because essentially they can be endless you can just play them whenever you want you don't have to wait for anything but what do you do if you're out of bonus games basically there are plenty of different ways that you can get bonus games back and there are ways that you can kind of circumvent the system so first of all i guess i should point this out is that if you go to the store and you go to boosts you can buy bonus games with gold i would never recommend that you do that unless it's one of those things where it's like you have like 30 seconds left in an event and you really need another game and you only need one bonus game to do it for some reason Okay, maybe, but I would really highly recommend ever paying gold for bonus games because the gold is so much more valuable in other places, in my opinion, at least in my experience. The biggest way that you're gonna be able to earn more bonus games when you don't have them is playing in other events. So my personal favorite for getting more bonus games is Walk Off Hero. Let me show you why I say that Walk Off Hero is the best way to get bonus games. It's like, Super, super quick to get through these games. Uh, let's just go with Espinal. So timer's on screen right now and I'll show you how fast you can get through these games. If you're lucky enough or fortunate enough to get a hit on the first at bat, which, okay, didn't get one there. Quick fly out, let's see if we can get one. There we go. Hit on the first at bat, that's gonna bring the runner home. Single's gonna score and you get your reward right down there. Stop the timer. I don't know how long that took, I wasn't paying attention, but probably like under 30 seconds maybe, or like around 30 seconds. Those rewards can be bonus games, and because these go by so quickly, these games go by so quickly in Walk Off Hero, it's so, so easy to uh, rack up rewards right away. But as you can see, if we go through quickly, I don't know how often bonus games come up. I'm not sure what the percentages is, but it's free to play these games as in you don't, you can play as many as you possibly can. Even if you keep losing, uh, it's not a big deal. It's like completely okay either way. I'll wait on that. They usually throw a meatball. Well, don't need it. There we go. And there's our first bonus game. So it took us four tries to get a bonus game, but realistically that took like maybe four minutes total, and you can get them with a much higher frequency than that. But the other big thing to keep in mind too is, if you're doing an event, you might not even need bonus games in the first place. Before we get into that, I actually wanna remind you guys that you can subscribe if you want more Tap Sports Baseball 22 action. I'm gonna be talking about my team this year. I'm going to be making some challenge videos. I'm gonna be doing more stuff like this, more informational stuff as well. It's gonna be a smorgasbord, but I'm planning on playing this game a lot. So I'm really excited to be playing that alongside you guys. If you wanna follow along, you can subscribe. You know the deal. I don't need to baby you, you get it. If you have a multi-event or a mystery event or something like that, and the event has the prime games in it, you can actually play those prime games and you get the same exact thing that you would for playing a bonus game. So as you can see here, if I go to the games tab, right here it says my tier and it says wins four out of 18 to get to the next tier level. Well, if I go to my club and I go to the event, and then I play my prime event game, and we won, got some club points, that's great, got some cash on the side, and then I go back, five out of 18. So you might actually be playing in an event um, that will reward you those games towards the next tier without you having to even do anything about it. So you don't even need the bonus games in the first place. 
So my biggest recommendation is do not buy bonus games with gold. It is absolutely not worth it. Play those walk-off hero events whenever you can. Play those tournaments whenever you can. And especially play those prime games whenever you can because they're just as fast as bonus games. You get five right off the bat. I believe that they re-up every 15 minutes. Yeah, and you can even watch a video for one extra energy. So you can basically get six games immediately and then it's every 15 minutes after that. It is so much better than paying for gold for bonus games if you run out. Anyway, folks, hopefully that will end your days paying for bonus games or sitting back and thinking, oh my gosh, I wish I had more bonus games. I really want to get to that next tier. You don't need to worry about that anymore. There are really easy ways to get bonus games so that you will not run out. And I hope this has been helpful to you. So if it has, let me know. Remember, you can subscribe. I'll be coming out with TSB content, I don't know, a couple times a week, two, three times a week. So if you want to stick around, if you want to play alongside me, uh, let me know what players you you have or what players that I should be aiming for. I know I still really need a shortstop and a starting pitcher, so uh, let me know who I should be on the lookout for. And hey, if you got one of those Tim Anderson cards, let me know because uh, it seem, he seems really good and uh, I really want him. So anyway, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one.